Hello everyone, welcome back to Blue Ridge Silverhound and today we have another product review. Only this time, yes, that's right, this time we're gonna do a three folder comparison study. Okay, we're gonna take a look at each one of these best-selling folders. I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, open them up. I'm gonna go ahead and fit quarters in each of them. Uh, these are all, by the way, quarter folders. We got two national parks here and then the one state quarter right here. Um, I guess the real goal in this is because it's uh, coming down to the holiday shopping season, a lot of folks are looking for those inexpensive gifts that you could get for a new coin collector in your family or a friend. These might be, you know, some of the uh, the more um, retail facing coin products that we see today. All three of them were purchased at Barnes and Noble, so uh, they are available out there either through a retail outlet, a, you know, a, a brick and mortar store, uh, like a coin shop, or you can buy them online through Amazon, which by the way, I'll have links below of uh, folders and albums. Uh, so that way you could, you know, for those of you that have like Amazon Prime and you have free shipping, okay, that's another avenue as well. It might even be a little bit cheaper. But regarding the money, we're also going to compare price, you know, uh, they all have different dollar values in terms of how much the MSRP is. So what can you get for X amount of dollars for each folder? Okay. Is it a quality thing? Is it a quantity thing? Fit and finish. Uh, the overall presentation does matter because, you know, um, these are great conversation starter at the end of the day. And, um, you know, if it's a collection you're looking to assemble, you want something that's a uh, look good and also keep your coins safe. So without going on much too longer we're gonna go ahead and start with the first folder and this is an he harrison company state collection quarter folder okay this one covers the dates 1999 which was the first year of the state quarter program to 2003 so there's a volume one there are a few folders that comprise of this series there's a volume two and i believe there's also a volume three I couldn't find a National Park quarter of H.E. Harris, which would have been nice. It kept things consistent through the video in terms of what the folders look like. But we're going to go ahead and get started with this one. First and foremost, this, this particular design of album with the repeating coin design on the uh, design work has been around for about 15 years. I remember buying these right around 2004, 05, and they've looked the same since. I guess the age old adage is, you know, if it's not broke, you don't have to fix it. Now, I will say that the, uh, the, the quality is pretty nice. Uh, the aqueous coating on here is pretty high glossy compared to the other folders. Um, which, by the way, if you're going to have this in the bookshelf, you'll notice that there's already some scuff marks. And I bought this just brand new yesterday, guys. So you're going to notice some scuff marks. And, um, you know, as you push this and pull it in and out of a bookcase with other folders or books, okay, you're just going to get more of those hairlines on there. So that could be a presentation issue um, with this folder. Okay, so um, right on the edge, you'll notice that the... Uh, the text is a little bit off center. Okay, so when it comes to the uh, manufacturer of the folders, the the wraparound on this binding right here is a little bit off. It's not a huge deal, but if you have a whole bunch of folders, you know, and you're looking for some pretty good quality folders, you want something that, at the very least, that this is going to be centered on the binding. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Uh, the cutting is okay. Um, you have some whitening on here, uh, which means the blade was dull when they were trimming the, uh, I used to work in the print industry, so I'm giving you the whole rundown, whether you like it or not. The interior is pretty nice. What I like about this folder is you have the option of putting both P and D minted coins in there for each state. Um, I would venture to guess that the National Parks version of the H.E. Harris will also have that attribute as well, which is cool. It makes it more of a treasure hunt. For those of us, or some of you that are on the East Coast, for example, will find more Philadelphia coins than you will Denver, which makes it just a little bit tougher to find some Denver coins where you're at on the East Coast and makes this a little bit more thrilling for the collector. So 
We're gonna go ahead and open up the second page here. Um, the cardboard is just okay, um, you know, it, not the best cut quality. Um, the glue is okay on there. And uh, finally, the last leaflet has a little explanation of, you know, the excitement of collecting the state quarter program. And it really is exciting because it's one of those series that have uh, jump-started coin collecting among young people, okay, the younger folks out there. So that's got that leaflet along with another secondary information page with the dates and states represented on there. Plus also the uh, the dates that the um, that these states were made a state. Does that make sense? Uh, so and, and what's cool about this particular volume is you also have write-ins. Okay, so let's go ahead and try the fitment of one of the coins here. Now it's a national park order, but they haven't changed any in diameter in over the years. So we're on a flat surface. We're on this table. So this does not have the snap-in feature. Okay, so you're going to have to really press down. Um, the, again, this is a formula that they've used for years. Now, you'll notice that the edge is slightly up above the actual surface of the folder. Okay, that, that's a little bit bothersome. You could really push it down if you're not on the, um, the table surface. So that way you could push it through onto the paper. But you're going to... I've actually damaged a few of these folders in the past doing that plus you also get the little crinkles that come off the coin because you have to really push down on them now the reason why i say that these are bothersome is that over time depending where you live you know these things shrink and they expand with you know humidity and that sort of thing so let's say you have a full assembly of quarters this thing's full and you've had it on your bookshelf for let's say a year before you decide to pull it out again and you open up the page with all your coins you might stand a chance of seeing one or two coins fall out of there. This is important because if someone is collecting strictly brilliant uncirculated coins, that could do damage to those particular pieces. So this, this folder, even though it's nice and it's a good presentation, um, you know, it, I'll, I'll reserve my judgment at the end, I guess. Uh, again, this is the H.E. Harris, which by the way is a division of Whitman. It's kind of strange because I have another Whitman folder. And it's almost like General Motors selling Chevrolet and GMC. It's kind of like, you know, pick which one you want. It's all based off of what you see uh, cosmetically. This one's $3.99. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this one aside. And we're going to go to the Whitman. First thing that I notice is it's got a nice, beautiful, full-color non-pixelated, so it's very high quality images of some of those National Park, you know, images on there. Uh, really cool, really crisp and clean. National Park Quarters Collector's Folder 2010 to 2021. So we know this folder will have all the quarters in there eventually. And it's nice that they pre-punched all the holes for all the other parks that haven't been released. Uh, again, the binding is pretty nice. Okay, the, the text is almost perfectly centered, not quite there. Uh, this one has a higher MSRP at $4.99. And this is Whitman Publishing again. And then you also have a nice full color, uh, full bleed, by the way. So it goes all the way to the edge of the, uh, uh, the stock. And, um, you know, you have these particular dates and... Um, the parks, okay, and I think the inside page will have that as well for the beginning of the program in 2010. Pretty cool. Okay, and there are the quarter holes right there for you. Pretty nice. I, I mean, you'll notice right away that there is no P or D for each park. It's just whatever quarter you find, whether it's P, D, or S, you would put it right in the hole, okay? So we're going to go ahead and open this one up here. And uh, for a second, I thought it was stained, but there is actually a color variation that almost looks like a cloud. So you have this kind of like a lighter um, off-white, and then you have more of a tan, and it just kind of, you know, melds together. And finally, the leaflet. This is a, 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 tr a trifold, by the way. So the leaflet will have all of the um, respective states, along with the national parks. It's kind of hi a history lesson because it also tells you when... The, the parks uh, were um, uh, established uh, as national parks, 
Okay, I hope that makes sense. And then finally, the last page, and then it's a little bit strange. I don't know if you guys see, but that that leaflet page kind of goes folds around the edge of the folder, which is kind of funky. It's a little bit different. I mean, it's not a knock. It's just a different way of you know putting the presentation together. But you know, all in all, I think it's a really nice look. Um, the glue is slightly coming off on that one right there, or there was never any glue at all. So that's a small little quality issue, one in which might play a role as these um, folders get older. All right, so that's the Whitman. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a coin in there. Let's see how it fits. Um, let's see, it's not Hawaii, but I'll put that one in there. Ooh, this one's tough too. Just like the uh, H.E. Harris. Uh, so this one, you might come across the same issues in terms of the actual uh, uh, sturdiness of keeping those coins in the hole. Um, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm quite a fan of that. I mean, you're going to have to really wedge them in there to get the coin in all the way. Of course, you know, I, I'm not a small person, so I could get that coin in there pretty good. You might have to... T pick up the folder and actually push the coin in. Again, you risk kind of making the um, the crinkle lines on there, which is, you know, unsightly. You know, if you're a perfectionist like me on some of these things, then that one may, may or may not work. I don't know. And finally, the green folder that we've seen for many years. This is a Littleton National Parks Quarter album. This is a 2010 to 2021 made in the USA. Now, that's fantastic, okay? That means a lot. High quality, you know, it's sourced here in the USA. And I'm going to try and take off the sticker. I want to see how easy it is to take that off because they put it on there to prove a point. Now we're going to see if we can take the sticker off without leaving a lot of the adhesive and other paper on there. Uh, it's archival quality, uh, which the other two are archival quality as well. So you're not going to get... Um, damaged coins as a result of the acidity of the paper and the stock. All right, so the back, I mean, you'll notice right away that these wrinkled spots right here on the actual outside skin, uh, I'm not a fan of. Again, it's a it's a look thing, a presentation thing. And um, this one is $3.95. So this is the cheapest by far by four pennies, guys. Take that into consideration. That, that might put things over the edge. There's a little bit of whitening right here, so a little bit of the uh, the green, um, uh, I guess, coating has come off at, at some point. Um, the edge lettering is okay. It's a little bit off-center, and let's go ahead and open this one up. Okay, so here's something that probably drives me nuts. You have a whole first page printed on cardstock or kind of like a cardboard, uh, I don't know, this looks like Maybe be, maybe, um, geez, what is that? 24 point stock, which is really thick. That That's, you know, that's what they use for all these folder pages. But come on, come on, seriously. If you have a full page, won't you use it for quarters, for crying out loud, and not informational stuff? It's, a, that, that was my first inclination on this. Now, this one is a four panel. So here's what I mean. So you, you don't have Philadelphia and Denver coins represented for each park. Whereas if they would have made better use of this page to do that and it made you know the distance between each holes a little smaller, I'm willing to bet they could do a P and D compilation for this one. Okay, so the, pretty much yeah, that's my big gripe with this one. But it's an overall clean, I, the, the green and the blue of the Whitman, uh, the older Whitman folders are what I would consider to be a more distinguished professional look. They look better on a bookshelf than they would the others with the actual photographs. Uh, again, it, that's all personal preference. So this is the page three, page four, plus you have a couple areas where they could have cut out a few of these holes to make some extras like they did on the H.E. Harris. That is unfortunate. And what they could have done with the informational page is do a wraparound, uh, a leaflet on the final page. That would have been awesome. 
Um, so this is the little tin. We're going to go ahead and do the coin test. All right, so let's do North Dakota. Oh my gosh, this one's a lot more difficult to push the coin in. As you can see, it's sticking up right there. So, um, yeah, I was a little shocked. I, I thought Littleton's had a snap feature on these. But, yeah, they, that's that's problematic as well. Huh. So, we, we've come to the conclusion that the... And you can actually see the little um, hanging chad things for when they did the punch outs. That, that's tacky. Uh, seriously. I, I mean, I know we're talking about a $4 folder, but... If you're going to be competitive in a marketplace, you might as well hang with the big boys, I guess. So, let's go ahead and try and take this sticker off because this uh, this is a big deal for me. Because I'm not a big stickers on folders guy. And I like a clean presentation. And I'm going to pull this thing out as quick. As quick. I can't do it quick. But as slow and cleanly as I can. And it it's um, it's doing okay. I have a little bit bit of the adhesive that's on the edge, but you can just rub it off. Uh, so it's okay. That, that'll work. All right. So that is the Littleton. Okay. I could tell you right off the bat that that's third place. Okay. For the reasons that I've stated that were very obvious. Um, so all three have the, uh, the deficit of not being able to hold the coins as well and as, as efficiently as some of the other albums that have the snap on the snap in feature where you click the coin in, it snaps, it's safe, it's secure. I don't know why they have they haven't upgraded it. So what it really comes down to is the H.E. Harrison Company and the National Park Quarters Whitman variety. Now what I do love about this one is the the just the attention to detail in the quality of the imagery, okay, which is absolutely stunning. And it would look good on a bookshelf, all right? And $4.99 is the more expensive album out of the three, but I would venture to guess that this is an album that a lot of people are going to gravitate towards because of how well put together it is. The H.E. Harris has been around for quite a long time, okay? This particular album right here is a mainstay. It's not going to go away. What they could do is modify the album a little bit to make it more collector-friendly. And what I mean by that is um, probably modify these cutout holes in the cardboard so that way the coins would snap in. Now, since H.E. Harris and Whitman are the same company, I would assume that they should do that to both all right and um yeah this one is okay i would give this one second place because the imagery on this coin while looks great has been used over the past um decade and a half okay so that's my second place folder right there and finally the national parks quarters yes you pay a little bit extra but this one just feels like an overall better complete presentation I'm going to be proud to own this one because of, of the overall look and the eye appeal of the pages and the, um, the full bleed coloration of the photographs. This one, without question, is my number one book, and I hope it's your number one book as well. So that concludes our three-folder comparison. Yes, it took almost 20 minutes. I cannot believe that. I think I was just talking you know, more than I was trying to showcase these things, but whatever you decide, all three are just fine. Okay, let's be honest. If you want, if you wanted the, the look of the Littleton, you know, that's what it has going for it. Uh, you can't really go wrong for a beginning coin collector that's pulling, you know, quarters out of change. Um, obviously, this is not geared toward a high-end collection, nor should it be, but... All in all, this these are affordable gifts and you know will make great stocking stuffers. I'm your host, Blue Ridge Silverhound. Sorry, I'm all choked up because I love talking coins. And uh, you know, thank you for joining in on this extraordinarily long video. Again, um, I have Facebook, Blue Ridge Silverhound, four words, uh, Instagram to come. Come visit, say hi, show me what you have. And uh, as always, subscribe if you haven't done so. Uh, again, you guys have a wonderful day. 
and uh, hope to hear from you soon. All right. Take care, guys.